Hi everyone, Melissa with Fresh Blooming Clothing here and today I thought I would show you what it looks like when I photograph. It is sunny here in Florida and so I use natural lighting. I don't have a lighting kit or any special artificial lights, overhead lights, etc. for my photos so I really have to take photos when it's sunny, <laughs> which I do. So these are my two mannequins. I have a dress form and a hanging half mannequin. The hanging half mannequin, you'll notice, has a hole drilled in her. And what happened is when I uh, was listing suits, especially smaller suits, it was hard to try to capture the shape of the skirt underneath the jacket. So what my husband did is drill a hole through her and I can now hang a hanger. And basically what that does is underneath the jacket, you can't see this, and then the shape of the skirt, you can see. So that was our solution to that. In addition to the mannequin and hanging dress form, I use hangers, just regular hangers. And I have a hook, I'm gonna pan you up so you can see it. Here we go, just a command hook. I think it holds like three to five pounds, somewhere around there. So when I have jeans, pants, skirts, I can just use that hook and take a photo. And when I have smaller things that don't fit on my dress form, or sometimes larger things, I put them on a regular hanger and photograph them. And I'll insert photos of what that looks like. Scissors. And I like the ones with a sharp point so you can get really close in case there's a thread hanging. Scissors, double stick tape is really helpful and I'll show you that a little bit later. Any kind of clip, clothespin, chip clip that you can attach things from the back, make things smaller, take things in where you need to, um, those are really helpful. So I have a bunch of those. And then the last thing is my camera. I happen to use a regular camera. Sometimes I use my cell phone camera though and the photos are just as good. And uh, I do all of my editing on my desktop, but there's so many apps nowadays and software programs available that you really could choose any one of probably thousands and still be fine. I'm gonna leave this running while I photograph just a green tunic so you can see how I do that. I always try to make sure everything is straight on the mannequin. The seams and collars and shoulder seams are where they are supposed to be. All the buttons, make sure those are buttoned. So here we go. I'll make sure you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so I use a one by one square in my settings. I can set up my photos to either be rectangular or square. There's different formats, I guess you call it. So right now I have that on the square setting. So I wanna make sure I take a photo that has some white space on all sides. My wall is actually blue, so it would be blue space. And then as I come up close, I wanna make sure I get one of the collar perhaps a pocket, these are fairly unusual looking pockets. The button has like some scrolling details, it's really pretty. So I'll zoom in on one of those. I'll turn this. And if you're looking for a dress form, I would highly recommend one on casters. Mine does not have casters, um, which was a bad decision on my part. <laughs> So I try to get the item from all angles. That allows the potential buyer to see it from all angles, but also then if they have an issue, you can always refer back to your photos. If they have an issue like, oh, there's a stain on the back and you didn't photograph the back, eBay's gonna side with them. But if you have clean, clear photos of the back not having an issue, then you're good to go and eBay will side with you. Okay, I'm just going to keep photographing this top. This isn't something I would normally do, but I wanted you to see what the top looked like on different types. 
So this is what this would look like just on a wall. So if you literally have a hook or a nail of any kind and a blank wall, you can take a pretty good photo. And again, you're trying to get all of the space around it so nothing looks too cropped. So that's what it looks like on the hanging mannequin, and I think I really like it on the hanging mannequin. And so now what I'm going to do, just grab a photo of the label. And I wanna make sure I get the size in that. And then if there's a side seam label, which Soft Surroundings usually does, I wanna make sure I take a picture of that because this will give the information of how to care for the item. I'm going to use double stick tape, very handy, to stick this label down so my finger doesn't have to be in the shot. There we go. You can easily read as 100% silk and hand washable. So as opposed to dry cleaning only, somebody might be interested in that shirt. Okay, so next up is this flax dress. You can see hanging it, it looks pretty good. A few little things that I would do, I would get my double stick tape. And because you can't really see the fit of it, I would probably tape right there to the wall. Here it looks just a little, it's like folding in on itself. So if I take some tape and put it right at that underarm area, and then do the same on the other side, it really pulls out that bust, and then I have no issues with the dress falling in on itself. Again, I'm taking a square photo, and this is a very rectangular dress. So I want to make sure everything is out of the way so I can get a completely clear frame around it. This has a texture to it, so I really want to, to capture the texture. Any other details, the buttons, the label, of course. This also has a vent in the front which is really pretty, so I want to make sure I capture that. Okay, so that's the whole front of the dress. I have about four or five photos there. Now I'll turn the dress around, and I should still be able to use those tape pieces and take pictures of the back. Now, if this dress had any flaws, and it does have something up with it, but it's not really a flaw, though I will disclose it, I will take a separate picture of that. This dress has been hemmed. This dress has been hemmed, so somebody could take a pair of scissors and snip that out. I'm going to leave it in for right now. It's just a little running stitch, so I do want to make sure I get a picture of that. So again, I'm just going to go back to my desk area. Set it down and snap a photo. Okay, now this dress photographed pretty nicely, I would say, on the hanger. I want to show you what it looks like on a mannequin. Again, if you only have a hanger or if you only have a piece of vinyl on the floor. I used to use poster board. I know people who use um, their bed comforter on their bed just to lay it out. Anything that can show the shape of the dress in a flattering light. Now, I used to have a dark colored cloth mannequin. This one's almost the same exact color as the dress. So the beige with the yellow, it's not really popping. So I might like it against the blue wall better. But for now, we'll see how it goes. Now in this photo, it's almost gonna be impossible to get the, um, the molding out of that picture. So I'll just leave it there with decent moldings. Now sometimes I sell lots of the same thing. In this case, I have two pairs of Gap jeans, same size, same style, just different colors. 
and I could hang one up and then hang the other one up and then make a collage, but I keep this piece around. I found it at the bins. I'm sure it's for scarves or belts of some kind. And I do usually use it for that occasionally, but this kind of allows me, just make sure everything's straight, to take photos of two items or more at the same time. Just make sure everything is pleasing to the eye and you can see that pretty well there. Really all I'm doing is needing this little section here. So I'll take a wider photo and then crop it out later. My next piece is jeans. And jeans are pretty easy to photograph if you're laying them flat, but if you have a bad back or don't have the space to lay them flat somewhere in your house, you can photograph them against a wall. Just want to make sure everything looks nice, lays flat. And I always do this thing where I kind of like hide the crotch area so it gives it a little bit more of an opening. Anytime you can show a little bit more of that wall space, the better it looks. So when I take the photo, again, just all the white space around. Now, if I wanted to show jeans with a sweater over it or a blazer over it, this mannequin would be great to do that on. And here's where this hole comes in handy. And this is if you're putting together an outfit. I normally only show things by themselves, not, you know, like a full look, because eBay really discourages you from using keywords like, this would look great with boots and a sweater. They really discourage things like that. But I am going to grab a sweater just to show you what this would look like. So this is a pull-on jean. It's not necessarily the most trendy jean out there. So knowing that and the, pe the person who might be buying this, I grabbed a little bit more of a classic oversized piece. Now I have kind of more of an outfit to photograph and I could even tuck in the shirt a little bit so it makes it there we go. do a little styling. That way you can see the waistband a little bit. Oh, and we are out of focus again. Focus, focus on us. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture like this. Another way to take photos of anything flat and small would be to use a tabletop or a flat vinyl that you're laying on the floor. So I kind of tuck up that crotch and make these as nice as possible. And I'm just standing over them and taking a photo. Flip them around. And then I'll do the pink pair as well, coral pair. Next up is something I'm going to photograph on the floor. These are culottes, so they're like a dark denim wide leg jean. And I was gonna put this scarf through them because they're kind of that boho look, but they have no, no belt loops. So who well scarf, you can't be photographed. So I have vinyl backdrops, and this is just one of many. I just have a plain white one a plain black one. You can find all of those on my Instagram page. So this is the hard part for my body. 
My body doesn't love to be down on the floor, um, but some things do show better when they're on a flat surface, and this was an example of that. I can really position these trousers exactly how I want them to lay to show how wide they are. Okay, so again, I really want that crotch area to have some space between it. So I'll really pop that up. And again, you can find that tip on my Instagram. And I'm going to stand right over these when I photograph. And make sure I have a border around. Now, even though this has a beach background, most of that is going to just come out as kind of a, let's see if I can show you. You won't really get too much of that in the photo. The photo looks more white than beachy. But if it had a beach photo, I love this backdrop for when I'm taking photos of swimsuits. Now the back doesn't matter as much because the front shot was the shot I wanted to use for the gallery. And again, taking with a flash because jeans sometimes photograph better with flashes. Dark colors sometimes do. I'm gonna open up the zipper to show these are a front zipper, take a picture. Picture of the label, and if there's any inner seam labels with style numbers or anything like that, I'll take a picture of that too. This time I am gonna use my hands, but I'm gonna be really careful because I don't want my fingers in the photo. Once I get going, it only takes me about two to three minutes per item to photograph. So I'm going to show you that in real time. So here I have a linen top. And now I'm just going to take it off and photograph the, um, the label. you get going and you put your different um, habits, I guess, in place, it will get faster and faster. From the time an item comes home from the thrift store, it gets usually washed, just depending on the fabric, and hang dried. And then I steam. Almost everything needs steamed just to make the item look better, especially if it is a more expensive item. So that's everything I just photographed and showed you how to photograph. I guess there's about 10 pieces there. And this is what the rest of the desk looks like. Just everything over there. <laughs> my dress forms turned around. My tripod, which I used for filming. She's on the floor. I am going to keep going. Everything I have, I think, is steamed and ready to be photographed, which is everything there. 
these TJ Maxx items, the Land's End, I'll only have to take one set of photos and I'll have multi-listings since I have so many sizes. So that's what I'm going to do next because that's the easiest. If you have any questions about how to photograph, photographing tips that I'm missing out on, I would absolutely love to hear about that. I know you can do it. Go do it.